out there in YouTube land. Welcome back. Today we thought we'd talk about a very unique film. Unique and actually one of our kind of more gross. <laughs> yeah. Uh, more explicit? Along the same lines as other hard to watch films like yeah. Solo and Poughkeepsie Tapes yeah. and Dead Alive even. This one is um, a little bit out of the genre that you know we've talked about in the past but still within the realm of horror and it is about witches. And I would say that this is probably the most realistic witch movie in yeah. terms of what it was like during the burning times. Yeah, kind of that whole, you know, 1600s inquisition brutality malleus maleficarum brutality yeah. so so and that is the classic mark of the devil oh my <laughs> yes and actually on the front of the video case it has probably the beginnings of one of the more graphic scenes in which a witch is being questioned mm -hmm. aka being tortured and they use a pair of pinchers to get a hold of her tongue. And rip it out. And you get to see that. The whole thing. Yep, start to finish. Like, yeah. Where I first heard about this film was my parents had sworn that this was a movie that had Vincent Price in it. It was the grossest witch movie ever. Come to find out that they had actually seen this film and Price and Witchfinder General in a double feature at a drive-in. Yeah. So they thought that Vincent Price was in this movie because they didn't quite remember things. But turns out it was just a double feature. And this movie has Udo Kier in it. Right. And it also has Reggie Nadler in it. And it has a couple of other people that you don't really f hear much of. And for those of you that are fans of like Salem's Lot, Reggie Nadler was the same guy that played Barlow. Yeah. In the 1970s version of Salem's Lot. So he in this movie he plays kind of like one of the torture guys. And the collectors of the witches and whatnot. Um, the back case copy reads. This is the one that historians and gore hounds still speak of with shock and awe. That's true. Yeah. That's I mean true. there are. We don't want to spoil everything. Because you know we pretty much know that most people that watch this review of this film are going to go see it if you haven't already. Yes. But it has some of the most graphic depictions of torture that have been put on screen. Yeah, I mean truly it, And they're it does. much more realistic than anything that was shown in like Hostel. And this was a film that was made in nineteen seventy. In the uh, in Germany is where it was yeah. first released. So, it, and when my parents saw it, it was shown with barf bags. Probably because they needed them. Yeah, the general public. I mean, I mean, this movie is still, it still makes people sick today. In yeah. fact, it was several years ago. My cousin was dating his wife now, but they weren't married yet, and. Uh, mm -hmm. He was exposing her to some horror films and stuff because she's not ever really grown up with horror films and that type of thing. And he chose this one. Well, he asked me to bring horror films for us to watch. I was going to say. He didn't specifically <laughs> choose this one. He just said, bring a variety of horror films over. <laughs> oh, and so no. I had just gotten Mark of the Devil on DVD. So I, that was one of the ones I grabbed. So I came in there with the like, you know, stack of DVDs. <laughs> and he looks them over and stuff. And he's like, oh... This one looks fun. Let's watch this. And he looks over to his wife Rachel, and he's like, "Rach, this is this is going to be an intense one. I haven't seen all this." Oh, jeez, poor Rachel. Yeah. So we start watching the movie, and of course, poor Rachel ends up seeing one of the first like intense scenes and gets sick and has to leave the room and not watch the rest of the movie. Um, <clears throat> which she told us to go ahead and watch the rest. We didn't just quit it because she told us to watch the rest otherwise we would have stopped and turned on something else it's not like we were like horribly cruel and like said ha ha you can't hang out with us we're gonna watch this movie <laughs> no she told us to finish watching the movie she was just gonna do something else while it was on <laughs> this movie is and 
you know, if it's not for you, it's not for you. Yeah, it's it's not it's something. One of those. Yeah, I mean, it's basically the premise is you know in Eastern European Austria, the you know it's during the burning times and stuff. So the Inquisition goes around looking for witches to torture in order to get information on their like dealings with Satan and all this other crap. And so, and it's historically accurate to the Malus yes. Maleficarum. Um, some yes. of the things that they used to do to women and men. Yes. And cats. Yeah. Poor cats. Really Poor like. people, too, but, you know, the cats really had nothing to do with anything. Some of the people no. <laughs> that, you know, the, the people would lie on each other, but the cat thing was just totally random, like a random addition. It was the familiar. Yeah. It's like, oh. Familiar. Whatever. But, you know, it, it's basically, you know, of course, like, crap happens in town, and so the witch finders come in to right. investigate, and then the tortures begin. And, you know, it is historically, like I said, it's historically accurate yeah. because they did use some of the tools that were used back then. And actually, there is, oh, I forget which museum it is, but I was walking through it in D.C., mm. and they had tools from the burning times. And I know that there's also cruel. a torture museum in Prague yeah. where they have a lot of the things. Yeah. So, you know, if you're interested in the history of what humans have done to other humans, that's an interesting museum to go to. I personally have not gone, but a couple people that have gone have told me that at some point, if I'm ever in Europe, I should go because, you know, they have Iron Maidens. They have all that stuff. And it's grotesque what people can do to people yeah. so and you see that in this movie extensively so i mean you know the people that are torturing the other people are supposed to be supposed to be the good guys which yeah. is the scariest part of it when in period. fact they are uh anything but they're depraved yeah. they're depraved and they're driven by fame and money fame and money and probably a little bit of hatred in there yeah. and it yeah. So. Just brutal and horrific and... It's a shining example of the monstrosity that another human being can be. Yeah, absolutely. So. And, uh, you know, this is something that... <sighs> it was such an intense film that they didn't hire any actors that were extremely well-known at the time. Udo Kier was known to be in unusual horror films... Mm -hmm. And in, like, exploitation films and that type of thing, uh, Reggie Nalder was just kind of known to play all these, like, horrific characters. I think he was in a few westerns as, like, one of the bad mm -hmm. guys and things like that. But his career was still relatively early, you know, it was 1970. Yeah. So, watch it. Don't get popcorn for this one. <laughs> no. The, the nice thing to say about it is that... The costuming is wonderful. Yeah. They did a very good job of being historically accurate on the costuming. Some of the costuming is very beautiful. They actually filmed the movie in some Austrian castles mm -hmm. and things. So everything is really well done. It's well done. It's historically accurate to you know to the extent that Hollywood's going to be. Yeah. Unless you are walking through history, you're not going to be historically no. accurate. So... If you want to know what the burning times were like, this is the movie to watch. This is a if good you one want to watch. the total realism of it. Yeah. So let us know if you've seen it. Um, and if so, what's your favorite part? If you have mm. one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Bye. Bye.